guys are doing good. I'm sitting here in front of my computer. Finally got everything set up. And we are ready to start with a brand new episode. This episode is going to be about how did me and Peter decide on what boat should we have. First one was, is it a mono or a catamaran? And this is a very odd topic and there's a lot of um, stuff on YouTube and many sailors have debated this. So I'm not going to prescribe how you should do it, but I can tell you how me and Pietro got to the point of deciding and what we decided. And I hope this will help you to decide how you can make your decision and what boat will be the best for you. So the first one is about funnels and catamarans. So let's start with what is advantages and disadvantages according to me. And it's 100% according to me and Pietro, so it's not necessarily going to be applying for you. And my research started way back when in 1999 when um, I was going to circumnavigate because my two young children, they were very, very tiny at that stage. So it was very important for me to work with limited means to do research at that point in time. But um, that's at that stage why, why I favoured monohulls opposed to multi -holes. And yeah, that's basically where it all started, the monohull thing. So, because I'm favoring a catamaran, we came now into a little bit of a uh, impasse that we need to decide which way to go. And so I did also a lot of research, she did a lot of research, and we came out that, yes, in 1999, the Manuals definitely had a much better track record than a catamaran. And that is around 19 years ago, 18 years ago. So. At this moment, if you look at the latest catamarans, then maybe something has changed. So, this, let us hear what, what, what we think now, and then I'll go and do some research and show you guys with links what was the research. Okay, I can just emphasize again, it was way back when, in 1999, when my kids were still very small. So, safety was a huge aspect for me at that point in time. And it was said at those times, a, a, a mono hole cannot capsize. When it capsizes, it, comes, it does a hole through 60, where the catamaran just stays upside down. That was one of the main reasons why I favored a mono hole. The other reason was um, obviously less marina space. You've got one hole, one hole to maintain, one engine to ma maintain, as opposed to two. There was a much bigger variety of mono holes available, or I, I believe still is today, as opposed to Captain Lorenz. Ryan from Ryan and Jessica Adventures, the link is below. He's a, he's a great guy with, with, with statistics and he actually wrote some software to, to scour the internet and find out all the, the prices. The graph that I you show now here is, is the graph that from his data, it is his um, graph that he compiled and you can see from from this graph um, the orange is the, uh, the monos and the blue ones is the catamarans. And from only from around 1983-84, around there, the first catamaran started to come on the market. And uh, so you can see there's not a lot of growth uh, or time for catamarans to mature. And it really started pushing off around 2009 that it, it started to come onto the market into the into their own right. But even if you look at the numbers of today. Uh, that this is definitely that the catamarans made an impact in 2007 and the manuals did reduce the number, number of manuals as that's for sale. But yeah, and this is only the numbers that is for sale, um, so it's only boats that are listed. So it might also be that the boats were not listed um, that many from 2008. But if you can see there, it's clearly that the manuals have much more. Um, opportunities and much more variety than, than catamarans.
Another aspect was a smoother ride as well. When you do an ocean flash, it's, I mean, just do, it's a much smoother ride than a jerky ride of a catamaran. That was a big concern as well, having small kids, the jerkiness, they can fall overboard, anything can happen. Again, the safety aspect was important. Oh, with sudden squalls as well, a monal is far more forgiving than a catamaran. <laughs> And I think the lowest one is what? Oh, speed. Main thing is well, you can load a, a mono hull and it's all perfect. The more you load a multi hull, it becomes slower. So that's basically in a nutshell the preferences to a mono hull that I've got. So that is all valid. Um, very good valid reasons to have a mono hull. So from my side, the reason why I prefer a catamaran is I think you you have redundancy in the engines because you have two engines you have actually redundancy if one engine fail you have another engine um, if you have demastered and you need to rely on an engine then you still have one additional engine if one fails which is also why you have double the expenses but for me the advantage is you have two engines um, the other one is it stays more upright so we can have a glass and it can stay on the, on the table. So I like the upright and that's much more comfortable. The other one is because the manual is always at a certain angle under passage, or not just under passage, but if the wind is blowing, then you have only one, of, one side of the house that you can actually sleep. If you want to sleep on the cockpit cushions or pillow, um, bunks on this side, you will fall off. So you always have to, to stay in this corner here. If the manual starts leaning to the other side, then you will fall off. So if you tack, you can only stay on one side. The moment the guys tack again, the guys sleeping on this side will fall off. Unless the bed is designed with a little... Uh, a wooden, safety rail. Yeah, like a little safe, yeah. safety rail so you can walk there. And also, if you... I've seen it many times, uh, like the captains or the helm. Um, the, the guys are, if their manuals is going like this, they're always standing like at the angle. So they need to stand way there. So they actually use all of that space. Well, in a catamaran, you can sit actually nicely and you can steer or autopilot and you will always be upright. And all the cockpit benches can be used at the same time. Doesn't matter we own a port tack or starboard tack. Okay, so another one is a catamaran, I think Peter already said, is it doesn't sink so it will even if it is the, one of the horses bridge or both of the horses bridge you will actually just go sit in the water maybe lower in the water or if it does capsize it will be upside down um, it will not come upright like the manuals will do but it will not sink uh, then because there's two owls you have double the space so if you have a 45 foot mono versus a 45 foot catamaran you have two house and also because the house is, is thinner you can have thinner house your speed can be much faster than a mono so i think that is it yeah, from my side the advantages so we will now go and show you links and research and things like that and i will show you also links down below um, where we actually visited all the different youtube channels or even blog pages where they discuss these kind of things and there's many more but for now let's look at this so um there's a, we went through all the all the selling channels and and there's a couple of more things that was was listed. Uh, it's like for example, manuals. The slip fees are cheaper because a manual have one one hour and takes normally one space, one parking lot, and then um, Catamaran has two hours and is wider. So if there is birth slips, then it will take up two spaces and you will pay for two spaces or you can stop at the end of the of the marina um, also the the catamaran because of the it doesn't have a big big um, keel if the waves hit the keel it goes like this so the whole mono goes like this while a catamaran just goes like this so catamarans are I think it's less affected but I 
why that rarely fit at anchor. Um, Caterpillars don't sink. Uh, they they can get holes in, and they just float. Either they float upside down, or if they do hit a reef, they will not really go go down and sink. Um, Caterpillars is also more maneuverable. Uh, so you've got two engines, and you can put one forward and one backwards. And as I it actually then tilt on the same axis, so. In very small spaces, you can actually maneuver a catamaran much better than a mono. And also, a, mono, a catamaran has a very shallow drop. A mono will have this long keel full of lead, while a catamaran has, the, has a very shallow drop, and you can get much closer to the beaches. In some instances, if there's a problem, you can actually beach your, your catamaran and wait for low tide and then fix what needs to be fixed paint what needs to be paint and you can at high tide you can get your catamaran back. Also I think many catamarans have a dinghy tender so or a, a tender uh, davits so where the, the dinghy can be up on a raised up above the water so it's a nice place to store the dinghy on passages while the uh, manual doesn't have it. So in summary, I think everyone has their own thing. Uh, mono people will not be convinced, I think, if they buy a very nice soft spot for, for uh, mono, they will not change. And I think the same will happen if you are a catamaran fan, I don't think necessarily you will do. So this is mainly a video for the beginners that need to make up their mind and this is how we made up our mind. Um, and for us, the comfort, the sailing of a catamaran, that actually won us over. Most of the time we will be in a catamaran, we will be not sailing passages that much. We do have a, a wild crazy idea of going like this around the earth and not like this around the earth. So we go from pole to pole and not um, along the, the Arctic lines. So there's another <laughs> video coming up. So the next one that we're going to do is, is the video on whether we want to buy a new catamaran or an old catamaran. Uh, what kind of catamaran do we want, what size of catamaran and then also um, the big one, what brand. So if you, if you want to follow us, hit that subscribe button. And if you're in full screen like I normally am, then please exit full screen, hit the like button as well. Um, so that you can do that. I, I, I don't know why YouTube don't put the like button there, but yeah, in full screen. So until next time, thank you very much. Um, all the links will be below. I've got a much more detailed blog on the blog site, on our blog site, so you can also go there and also see the pretty pictures and other things like that thank you very much until next time ciao support us on patreon like our pictures on instagram and follow us on facebook to become part of our social active experience